Oftentimes we hear about stunting plants when preparing transplants for spring gardens. Well, it may not necessarily be as true as what you might think. For example, I've started both squash and pepper plants, put them into small containers, and kept them there for oh, five to seven months. And what I found was, yes, the plant did become stunted. It did not reach its uh, intended size. Stems were a little bit spindly. The leaf structure was less profuse than normal. And when the plant did flower, there were not as many flowers and the fruits were very tiny. When moved to outdoor containers that were larger, the plants underwent a transformation. The plants actually grew in size. The stem structure became much thicker and the fruits began to look a little bit more normal. So was the plant truly stunted? In my experience, the plants were not stunted for their lifetime, but were rather optimized. Optimized for those small containers, and later when put outdoors, they underwent the transformation where they were optimized for the larger containers. The larger the container, the more optimization took place, and the plants adapted accordingly. Just look at the difference between these two pots. The one on the left was from when the plant was in the one gallon container. And the one on the right, the normal size one, is after the plant transitioned to its much larger outdoor home. So in fact, this is the best of both worlds. You can start your plants early, you can harvest the smaller plants, and then later move the plants outdoors to become much larger, like in the case of this white ghost pepper plant, and enjoy a multitude of fruits on a much larger, healthier, structured plant.